All right, so this is a video on how to properly care for a baby spiny soft shell. Uh, the babies are a lot smaller than the big ones. I'm talking a lot smaller. They will grow to be easily over probably a foot long. Um, so in which case you're going to need a much bigger tank for them. But that'll take quite a long time. These turtles will live to be pretty old. Um, and while in the wild, I think they live almost 30 years, if not older than that. Turtles can be really old. Uh, <laughs> um, they, this thing hasn't really evolved in a long time. This thing's been around for a long time, this kind of turtle. Which means na nature considers it pretty damn good at what it does. Maybe this will help. That doesn't help for shit. I need to clean the tank a little bit, sorry. But he's right back there in the corner. We can get a view from him over here. Yeah, there he is. Um, so the first thing that you want him to have, obviously, is your proper filter. Oh, shit. Shit. What happened? What did I do? What the fuck did I do? Oh. I am a dumbass. Okay. We... <laughs> you want to have a filter... Uh, because these turtles will be pretty smelly. Um, they need a basking spot. So they need, you either need to have them set up right by the sun at a window where they can bask in the sun all day. Or they need to have a heat light. Um, and it's good to have a heat lamp anyway. It warms the water more than the sun would. So you just got to think about it like that. Um, this water's pretty warm here from the heat light. They don't like it too hot. They don't like it too cold. This is a cold-blooded animal. Um, the next thing that they need is somewhere to swim around through, somewhere to hide in. Like uh, This PVC pipe is weighed down by two rocks. I haven't seen them use it yet, but I used to have one of these a long time ago when I was a dumb kid. Uh, I had a spiny soft shell, and I kept it outside on occasion during the winter, or not during the winter, during the summer, I would keep it outside in a bucket, um, and then one night it rained, needless to say, the turtle got out, I didn't know it was going to rain, but now I'm smarter, I'm going to keep it inside, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was pretty dumb of me, um, but, so they need somewhere to swim around through, a PVC pipe works, if you have a bigger tank, you could use a, uh, cinder block, Cinder block is fine. You can buy something at a pet store. For example, my other tank has this little makeshift cave thing. Uh, that'll work just fine, you know. Anything like that is fine. Uh, and then another important thing. I've seen several videos on YouTube. People have these turtles, and they don't have sand at the bottom of their tank. But these turtles, I, I think he might be... Yep. He's doing it now a little bit. They love to burrow. See, so he threw that sand on top of him. He thinks he's hiding now. He thinks he's buried. <laughs> but they will bury themselves completely, actually, when they get uh, scared or when they feel like they need to. Um, and like I said, it makes them feel very safe. Uh, so you need to have sand on the bottom. You don't want too many rocks. You don't want them to accidentally throw a rock on their head. I mean, a few rocks is fine. Um, nothing too small and too bountiful. Uh, they just need plenty of sand. Um, these things' diets, when they're babies, it should pretty much be a lot of protein for the growing. Um, I have this uh, bearded dragon food with crickets, grasshoppers, and mealworms and I've seen this guy eat all three of those it takes him a little bit to eat the grasshoppers and the crickets but they're not dumb they're not gonna choke they know um, they will actually use their hands to rip the food into little pieces they use their teeth or not their teeth they use their mouths and their claws and break the food into pieces as they eat it so you know, you know one of them might last them all day they'll come back for it later this one will I actually likes to bury his food and then he comes back for it later. I've seen him do it multiple times now. 
I actually think this one's a her. You can tell by the size of their claws, um, how long the claws are. Uh, if they're longer and sharper, it's probably a male. If the foot mo looks more like a bear claw, it's probably a female. Um, these ones have more webbed looking feet than regular turtles. Their claws are, uh, the feet are a lot skinnier. The claws are a lot uh, skinnier and a lot smaller in general, so it's actually kind of hard to tell, but I do think this one's a female. Um, I need a water change. You can't see that that well. Oh, she's burying herself again, I think. Or unless she's looking for food. Oh, no, she's not. She's swimming up. So, yeah, you need sand. Lots of protein for them to eat. Uh, a heat light, and you know, my last one didn't like mealworms at all, so, um, I, like I said, I did find that one in the wild, this one I bought at a store, the last turtle I, the last uh, soft shell I had, I found him in a, in the river behind my grandparents' house, um, so that was pretty cool, I had that thing for like a year and a half, maybe two years, kept good care of it, I just would take it outside, and like I said, it didn't think it was going to rain. God damn it. <laughs> My friends give me hell for that. They give me literal hell. Uh, you also want to feed them some of these repti sticks. Uh, there's multiple different kinds. Like my painted turtle won't eat these, but she will eat a different brand. So I think it probably just depends on how they make them. So I've been using the brand that the painted turtle eats because she seems to be the least picky out of all of these guys. Um... Uh, now this one's a baby, you can buy little baby turtle, little tiny pellets that aren't long. I'm talking about like, uh, they look like airsoft pellets. Uh, now this thing almost looks like a dinosaur, the way they eat. Because, like I said, my last one, I haven't had this one for too long yet, so I'm not 100% sure about all of uh, her tastes. But my last one liked moths a lot, didn't like mealworms. So I would buy the mealworms, I would let the mealworms sit in the drawer forever. She would just eat on uh, pellets and whatever till then. Or whatever, like flies I killed or crickets I found in the yard, stuff like that. Um, but uh, I would let the mealworms turn themselves into moths, put the moths on top, and she would swim up and extend her neck so fucking big just to grab that moth. It was funny. I like to watch that. Um, if you are interested in a new pet, I do recommend... A baby spiny soft shell. They will get to be a lot bigger, so you're going to need to upgrade the tank, like I said. But for now, a 20 gallon should be just fine for a baby. Should be just fine for quite a while. So, thank you for watching. If anyone has any questions or anything they'd like to share, you can just comment. Uh, check out my other videos. I have some a care on a baby musk turtle.